Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Those dangerous notes. Um, let's see how it goes. I mean, everyone is rooting for you. I'm rooting for you, and I'm sure the sky is just a starting point, like I usually say. Fans had a lot to say about praise, and this is because of his comments on both Shy and Ben. Guys, do you agree? Let's talk about it as we dive right into the video. I will wish you all the best. Yo, it is obvious that Praise does not like the fact that Remy is out of the show. Neither do I, to be fair. Remy has this beautiful voice and we know that he's part of a singing group, one-to-one -one seller. And he's just been competing. He was a Nigerian Idol last year. So it's not even pleasant for me to be seeing him leave the show at this point like in the semi-finals so yeah but praise didn't even take it well like he had to put his hand on his head like yo what's going to happen now more like praise was sort of betting on him from his team and now this person that i'm betting on is leaving i don't know maybe me talk him. anyways let's dive right into the video I'm gonna try. <laughs> Yeah, we have our top 10. Yippee, yippee, yo, yippee, yeah, yippee, yeah, hey, yippee, yippee, yo, yippee, yeah, yippee, yeah. Are you happy about your top 10? Who did you vote for? Who are you rooting for? Let's talk in the comments section below. Hi guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Philomena Moses Lawson. If you're seeing me for the very first time, you're welcome. Thank you so much for clicking. Please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Thank you so much. If you're a regular viewer, mwah, 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 mwah. now let's talk about our top 10. Starting with Ikonde. Woo! Guys, Ikonde literally grew on us. He grew on me. And that was what his coach had to say. Waje shows like Ikonde, your confidence is growing day by day. Ikonde was just like, I'm going to kill it. I'm ready as usual. He talked about how Maverick City posted his song from last week. Like his performance had everybody like, Jaira, you are now. Ah, this week, he now came back with another banger i mean love it no no that was not the song but because i just really wanted to say another banger that was how i sang that song but he came with hallelujah hallelujah <laughs> ikonde ikonde you guys keep voting this is the finale we're talking about so i've gotten to the finale vote for your fave i cannot overemphasize this am i the only one that feels like the voting process for this season is quite tasky like it just feels like a lot do this do that do this do that so long anyways vote for your fave now let's move on to talk about the next person that came out to perform which is matt the baritone <laughs> Fans really, really like Matt the baritone. I thought he wasn't going to survive after the first voting week. But lo and behold, he has his community. And just like he said this week, he's dedicating his song to his community. Community of people who connect to his music, the classical music, the style of songs and everything. And he sang this beautiful song, even though I don't know how this song is supposed to be because I've never heard it before. What's the title of the song? Again, I have my book here. The title of the song is I Need It My Way. So yeah. He sang that song and yeah, it was nice. Same Matt, same old Matt, like just doing his thing. But this time around, he was more like mushy. He would talk here, he would laugh there, which was really beautiful to see anyways. We have our next performer, which is Mars. Oh, guys. Oh my God, oh my God. Mars made me cry, guys. Like. I just call myself like cleaning my tears like he sang before you go and in this song he was just talking about how he had lost a friend this is his close friend and this is friend died in 2020 of sickle cell and he said this song is dedicated to that his friend because like this is something that he would have told the person before the person left like oh Mars. <laughs> But yes, guys, don't even see all this. Uh -huh. I actually shed a tear. Well done, well done to Mars. Beautiful performance, brilliant. Mars is actually surprising me on the show as well. Is it surprising you too? Please vote for your favorite. 
beautiful obviously but ice prince is so extra what is that everything nice everything good she picked me she picked me like bro yes we get it she picked you you know because when she was singing during a performance she walked up to ice prince and then just held his hand you never have a rich ice prince front where ice was already stand up from his seat they, they smile she picked you like go to the roast <laughs> Oh my god what am i even saying well yes nicole did us good really really nice 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 now let's move on to talk about adiola ah as soon as wajay here said then they sing her bestie song eh wajay just stand up from her seat the song never even starts where she don't they dance. Whether you battle, whether you sleep, hey, and no matter the color where you get for your skin, no, oh, just they move, oh, hey, and get in the ooh. <laughs> Guys, Adiola did so well. You know, she has this tiny talking voice, but then she can do a lot with this voice. Like, I was just wondering, how is she going to sing this song? Because, like, she has this tiny voice, but, yo, she brought it home. Girl brought it home with the dance, the look. Everything was given. Blink, 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 blink. Like, period. You gave, sis. You gave everything we're supposed to give, okay? <laughs> Ben sang beneath your beautiful and hmm, I agree that that wouldn't be like the best performance scene that first of all I know Ben personally no let me take that back I don't know him personally but I know his church and I've seen him sing in his church a couple of times and I know that he can sing he can like he has the singing but he's just afraid and even though his performance was good his performance was really good he did well all the falsetto all, the, all those things all those things I just also feel like he should have been able to do better however however don't get me wrong praise talked about how he felt like he could do it better same thing as I'm saying is what praise said and I feel like what praise expected of him was higher it's not like he, he did anything below standard or whatever it is I feel like what praise has done is that he has put Ben in a pedestal that like oh this guy is so good this guy is so good so whenever he sings and he's maybe somewhere here or here praise still feels like guy you should be here and not here because this is where I'm even putting you and I feel like that's where praise is coming from I may be wrong but I stand corrected he's a fantastic singer no doubt good 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 wonderful performance from Ben love it love it love it love to see it vote for your fave this is the finale we're talking about we are crowning our winner next week brav <laughs> Hey guys, let's talk about Shy. Shy sang, isn't she lovely? Isn't she wonderful? Praise now stood up. I went to give him a hug. I was saying, oh, um, like you deserve a hug. I don't have so much to say. I just need to hug you. No, sir. No, 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 no. I don't agree with this one. No. Yes, we know that Shy can do a lot. Shy has done us proud on this show. We know that. But a ninth performance bro the guy sustained on falsetto throughout the song like bro sing from your diaphragm sing this song from your you sing from here which one is is it she lovely is it she? bro like no i'm praised like is it because he sustained the falsetto from beginning to end that you were like oh dangerous notes and all those things i don't get it <clears throat> shy that, that's what i have to say about shy's performance because like bro you could have done better to be honest for me ben's performance was better than shy's performance tonight i'm talking about this episode here yeah? it was better so yeah that's what i think don't come for me anyways vote for your faith moving on to the next person we have mike frost who sang sacrifice whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, 
Mike Frost. I don't have so much to say about Mike Frost because he's just on his lane. I don't know how to put it, but Mike Frost just has this, you know, thing with music where he just does his thing. He's just, you know, I don't know. I feel like Mike Frost has not even been able to give us his personality somehow on the show. I might be wrong. I keep saying this. I've not been able to identify the kind of person that he is by just being on the show. And that's so hard especially for somebody that watch a lot of this kind of shows, yeah? Let's talk about my Bielsa brother, Perret Jason. Perret Jason sang Ain't No Mountain Too High. And see guys, in as much as I've heard that song, not like I know the song so much, Perret Jason always comes. He always shows up. Perry Jason always shows up. Like, guys, his performance was performancing. <laughs> I enjoyed his performance. And YJ will always smile and just look at him. Ice Prince also is always in awe of Perry Jason. Like, who's this guy? What G, you know? And yeah, it was really beautiful to see, okay? Even though I really had a problem with the sound this episode, this thing, is it really live or did they pre-record these things? I don't even know, but the sound was quite shaky. I don't know what was going on there, but yeah. Moving on to our next performer, we have Queen Jasper singing, I have nothing, nothing, nothing. If I don't have you oh! Jennifer was found shaking Jennifer was found shaking because of who Queen Jasper oh my god Queen Jasper brought it to stage I enjoyed her performance she did really well I'm not even gonna lie she did really really well and according to what Jen, these are the songs that we used to sing in karaoke even me tonight if I go I will sing I have nothing nothing but will never hit the notes <laughs> Guys, let me know which was your favorite performance of the night and you know, let's just talk about it. Who do you think is winning this show? How is it that this show is coming to an end? Is it just me or this season of The Voice is just somehow feels rushed, feels like nothing is happening. The people are not even becoming stars. They are not going viral as much. Like everything is just like, mm, mm, mm. let me know if you agree with me, okay? Thank you so much for watching. If you have come this far, you're the real MVP. And until next time, subscribe. And I'm going to see you on the next one. Bye-bye.